access to water is a defining challenge for the 21st century, particularly for the poorest in Africa. Researchers from the Walker Institute, based at the University of Reading, are working in collaboration with some of these communities to shape a climate-resilient future for those living in one of the most environmentally fragile parts of the world. Nick Wallace went to speak to those involved. <laughs> Farming where water is scarce is hard. Knowing how to get water to crops without wasting or contaminating it requires knowledge. We have to move away from taking decisions, managing our climate risk based on perceptions. Now we need to move to the level where we can manage our climate risk based on evidence. The Walker Institute, based at the University of Reading, is an interdisciplinary research institute supporting the development of climate resilient societies. Everything is a means to an end for us and really is driven by what the local demands, needs, priorities are first. And that is what we use to interrogate our research bench. In sub-Saharan Africa, the Walker Institute initiated the Rainwatch project, which collects and analyses rainfall data, and the Brave project, a study of groundwater access and use in Ghana and Burkina Faso. Ghana doesn't mind accepting such a load for use. And, and besides that, Working with local communities to better understand their priorities is integral to both projects. One method of sharing information is community radio interviews and broadcasts. This can help change behaviours and improve outcomes. I think that the work of the Walker Institute and organisations like Evidence for Development are really crucial and truly motivating. The fact that they have chosen not to stay in an ivory tower, but actually to say, what is it that people are asking for? What is it that people need in terms of knowledge, in terms of data? And then have taken the steps to make sure that their research and their work meets those demands is an enormous step forward. The Walker Institute recognises that the accurate collection and proper analysis of data is essential. But to have real value, this analysis needs to lead to action. If we get information right, um, the BRAVE project has shown this, it changes people's lives um, because it helps them adapt. So for me, this is really important. This could be the difference between life and death for someone. The key word in the Walker Institute approach is partnership. Finding out what information would make a difference to communities in water scarce environments and then working with them to harvest and use that data in a meaningful way. The work is challenging, cross-border, cross-cultural and often carried out in remote communities which can be difficult to reach. But development requires secure access to water which is why the Walker Institute is focused on making a real difference in people's lives. It's about helping to draw on primary science and apply it to enable people to make better decisions, choose the way they want to live in the face of the climate environmental shocks that they are experiencing almost on a daily basis. They are talking and listening. They're talking to different populations, they are listening to different populations, and they're changing the work they do. If we could get that done more often and more effectively, I think we wouldn't be heading for the crisis that we are heading for in terms of limited and badly managed resources.